I remember years back there were little buttons being given out by a jewelry store, not a church, but a jewelry store that said, God loves me. And there was one woman that kept looking down at her button. And she said, and actually the button was turned upside down, and she, she said, I do this to remind myself that this is true. She says, I don't believe it yet, but I am trying to remind myself that it is true. When someone says, I love you, often we feel secure and at peace in mind and spirit and and because of that our natural response is I love you too. God though loves you with an everlasting love and God supports you and encourages you to do and be your best at all times. Knowing that God loves you gives you a natural high. You don't need a button upside down to remind you. You just simply close your eyes for a few moments of prayer and you get that reassurance again, the real touch of God that is love. And knowing that God loves you, it is a wonderful feeling, an empowerment because it's love that is unconditional. With God, you know that you're important, and you also know that you have something to contribute to the world. God is always with you, so God's love is always with you too. And nothing can make God love you less. Nothing, absolutely nothing, can keep God's love from you. So don't let anything keep you from expressing God's love through you to others. You are loving, and because of this, your whole life, human and divine, is filled with love. It says in Romans, it says in this in 8, verse 38 and uh, 39, for I am convinced that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor rulers, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God. It's simply saying to you that nothing can separate you from the love of God, whether you believe it or not. It's true. And it is with you right now. God loves you. Amen.